Hey guys, Yanni here from Fresco Pond, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a traditional Greek coffee, also referred to as Turkish coffee or Armenian coffee. It is super simple and only takes a couple minutes, and you only need a couple things. So, you want to start off with a little cup of water. This is cold water, and you're going to pour it into the, this is known as a briki, but just as long as you have a small boiling pot, you're good. So we're gonna pour the water in there first. And then we are going to put, if you want sugar, I like to make it uh, with a little bit of sugar. So we are going to put just like half a scoop of sugar. If you like it sweeter, you could put more. If you want it plain, you could leave out the sugar. And then this is the actual coffee. This is very finely ground Greek coffee. So they make a couple different brands of these, uh, but this one is actually from a friend of mine who actually owns a coffee shop in Greece. I brought it back from Greece last time I was there, uh, but you can buy this at certain like Mediterranean markets and foreign markets. So we are going to put about one nice uh, teaspoon there, just like that. And then it's important to mix it before you turn the heat on. You wanna mix this while it's cold. Some people use like a little, um, like a little whisk to do this, but you could use just a regular spoon. You wanna mix it up until everything is pretty much dissolved. And then once it is dissolved, we're going to turn on the heat and we want to turn it on a medium to low flame. A lot of people actually don't know this, but um, boiled coffee was actually one of the first ways to make coffee before people had filters, espresso machines, stuff like that. People would just boil their coffee like this. So this is actually one of the oldest ways of making coffee and it is actually really good for you too. This type of coffee has more antioxidants than like a traditional American coffee and it tastes really, really good. And um, it's really quick and easy to drink. It's just like a little shot. So you wanna keep a really close eye on this when you're making it because it could go to looking normal like this to boiling within literally a couple seconds. And once it starts boiling, you're gonna see the sides. You could actually see it over here. You could see the sides start to boil up a little bit. You see that? And then it's going to boil up really quick and then it's gonna start rising to the top. Here we could see it's starting to boil. Okay, so this is where you wanna keep a really close eye. You could see it start to boiling now, and it's gonna rise really quickly, watch this. Okay, here we go. And then, done. So once it starts boiling and then it rises like that and it pretty much goes to the top of the pot, that's how you know it's done. When you pour it, you wanna let the sediment at the bottom settle a little bit and then just pour it nice and slow. Just like that. And that's it, you have a ready to go Greek coffee. All right, so you wanna let it cool down a little bit because it's gonna be really hot. Sip it nice and slow. This is something that you wanna enjoy. Perfect, came out perfect. Uh, Greek coffee has a little bit of a thicker uh, texture than filtered coffee, but I'm telling you guys, it tastes so good. It has such a nice, rich taste to it and as you can see, it's super simple and easy to make. It'll literally take you under two minutes. I'm sure once you try this, you're gonna be making it all the time. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, it's Yanni from Fresco Pod. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.